loss here to UC Riverside. And they want to be better on this end. They were held to just 45 points and one made field goal the last seven plus minutes of that game on Thursday night. There's the all Big West forward, Alamami Karoma. He lights the lamp tonight on the Central Coast. Point Guard points. stops on the right block, swings it out to Stevenson. Pierce raises from the corner and knocks down the triple. Well, now Polly's come out with energy tonight. Good crowd on hand. National Hat Day, the first 500 fans received free Cal Poly hats, and it's 8-0. How about the seal up the lane for Karoma? Normally a great regather to make it simple. First points for the Oregon State transfer, and now Karoma gets his hand in the passing lane and picks up the steal. Yeah, for Polly, those are runability type plays, but Karoma not confident outletting the ball. Pierce wanted it. Karoma lets it fly and knocks down the triple. He's pretty good when he steps in with the Kane Milling, one out of two at the foul line. There's Kyle Colvin, former walk-on from nearby Mission Prep. He spins and scores. Well, how about the patience? First to pass up the three, but then point halves at all this season. Look out. Oh, it's intercepted by Brantley Stevenson. And he finishes off the window. Well, a lot of that is the initial defense on the baseline. A jump ball called. We'll give it back to Cal Poly. Here's the wild card weekend tip drill. Interception and touchdown from Brantley Stevenson. How cool actions here. Stevenson sends it to Colvin. A three ball. Yes, sir. How simple was that? Just dribble it right and be ready to shoot it. No foul. Four from the field tonight. T.J. Taylor on the attack, and he scores. That throwback skip. Who starts this second half on the floor for UC Davis. And the local product, Yakula yeah, keeps it that's in. That's trouble. Elijah Pepper all the way to the basket, oh. rejected by Pierce. Pepper's layup attempt. Uh, guard on guard crime, or was it just a surprise when you flip it in that fashion? Elijah Pepper is not a high. 52's on the board. Brantley Stevenson's open, and that's good. Goes the rest of the way for any foul. A oh, big block from Karoma, but guess who? Anigwe swatted again. Oh, -ho, a couple of big swats from Ali. How about the burst? Here comes Pierce all the way. Missed it. Karoma stick back. Wow. Put that, put that on. And getting up to block Pepper's shot early in this second half. Inside of seven minutes and slow. Karoma with the left. There's a different bounce. A after he yelled at Cam Pierce, had a chat with John. Here's Fuller into the paint. Wraparound pass across the lane. That's another block. Karoma's got four. Oh, he's in between land. He came over to help Colvin, who had walled him off, but very fortuitous that he was able to find the palm and ball it. Wow. <laughs> Alamami Karoma with seven straight. Cal Poly's built the lead back to nine and sent the Mott Athletic Center into a frenzy. Here comes Manyan. Blocked by Karoma. Are you kidding me? And mental abilities of that young fella. Yakala scores. That's a flop warning on Anigwe. You know, the old days, Dean Smith would have that ball at half court right now, and you'd have to chase him. Here's Yakala, the low post wow. positioning, and the right hand hook for the senior. Inside of three minutes. The shot clock hits single figures. Karoma's back in the game, and Karoma scores again. 17. Manyan lets it fly. Missed the three. TJ Taylor secures the game's final rebound. A Big West winner for the Cal Poly Mustangs tonight. 82-74 over UC Davis. And partner some mini mojo energy in Mott this evening. It wasn't full capacity, but they were engaged early how the Mustangs made shots, played defense, ran the floor. Karoma was fantastic. Cam Pierce was fully engaged in this game, and I think John Smith finally can smile and exhale and say, what, a game plan and detail and execution finally worked. All right.